If you landed on this video, you must be a bike lover. Imagine being a man whose passion for motorcycles knows no bounds, a man whose love for bikes is inevitable. Have you ever heard of chopper-style motorcycles, or is this term new to you? Let's find out what it is. In this video, we will tell you about Paul Tootle Jr., a true devotee of two-wheeled marvels and an artist of mechanical ingenuity. Do you know what has made him unique in motorcycle design? Though Paul Tootle Jr. does not need to be introduced, he has some notoriety in the world of chopper-style motorcycles. He became well-known as a result of American Chopper, a reality TV program that documented the daily activities at Orange County Choppers. Tootle Jr. had previously been the company's leading fabricator and designer. His father, Paul Tootle Sr., owned the business where they created some amazing custom bikes and, of course, choppers. The father and son were notorious for their verbal arguments because of their opposing points of view. In March 2003, American Chopper's premiere episode debuted on television. After having a heated dispute with his father in 2008, Tootle Jr. quit working for Orange County Choppers. After waiting a year for the contract's non-compete clause to expire, he opened Paul Jr. Designs, a custom motorcycle company. Well, another fact that is going to be shared about him may give you a shock, as we know that being challenged in life is inevitable. The same was the case with him. He underwent a lawsuit in 2007. Let us delve deeper and find out what the case was. A complaint filed in 2007 on behalf of Turner Construction alleging fraudulent transfer identified Paul John, Paul Michael, and his brother Daniel. This dates back to 2003, and Turner was granted a favorable judgment regarding the original OC Ironworks Corporation in 2005. It was stated that OC Ironworks assets were taken, and the company's contracts, people, and remaining assets were transferred to a new entity called OC Ironworks LLC before the former went bankrupt. This involves selling the assets to the new firm for an unjust price and giving Paul Jr. ownership of the business. Tom Genova, the trustee, filed fraud accusations with the bankruptcy court in 2007 and requested that the transfers from the old firm to the new corporation be found to be illegal and invalidated. He also attempted to hold the new business accountable for the debts of the previous one. An agreement was struck, with Genova receiving $500,000 from Orange County LLC to be given to the creditors as part of the proposed settlement. On February 16, 2011, the Tootle v. Tootle civil lawsuit was no longer ongoing. According to the New York State Unified Court Systems website, the case had been disposed of, which meant it was finished with the legal system. Now moving on to his early life, it's sad that it was full of ups and downs, and several challenges knocked on his door. Paul Tootle Jr. didn't live a life of luxury as a child. He used to work at his father's company, Orange County Ironworks before Orange County Choppers was established. Tootle Jr. did not receive preferential treatment, even though his father was the owner. He began working full-time at his father's company after finishing his education and becoming proficient in welding. Although he didn't start at the top, his first duties included maintaining the shop's cleanliness and helping other Ironworks staff members by running various errands. With the help of his abilities, he eventually moved up the ladder and soon found himself in charge at the Orange County Ironworks. The father and son team quit Orang County Ironworks to launch their brand new custom motorcycle manufacturing company. The Orange County Choppers were established as a result of this choice. Pilgrim Films and Television soon approached them with the concept for the television series American Choppers. In March 2003, the show's pilot aired. The first season of the show lasted six seasons, or more than seven years. But soon, Tootle Sr. fired Tootle Jr. in 2008 due to their differences. The father sued the son for forcibly repurchasing the latter's 20% ownership stake in Orange County Choppers as their disagreement between the two developed to such a point. After a protracted legal dispute, Tootle Jr. was forced to transfer ownership of the company to his father. After leaving the Orange County Choppers, Tootle Jr. periodically sought to make amends with his father. After quitting his father's store and leaving the program, Paul Tootle Jr. concentrated solely on expanding his company. After that, the son could finally focus more on his creativity without having to worry about their frequent arguments. 
The amazing custom motorcycles he created helped him expand his business, eventually bringing him numerous partnerships with more well-known brands. He then launched the PJDE, an adorable little chopper-looking electric bicycle with a nice throwback vibe. Paul Tudel Jr.'s company produces great goods in addition to cool choppers. People still recall the prodigal son because of the outstanding notoriety he earned due to the venerable American Chopper Show. Tootle Jr. today enjoys a wonderful life, balancing time with friends, family, and an interesting job. Nevertheless, Paul Tootle Jr.'s television career was not over as a result. In 2010, the program's creator returned with American Chopper. Senior vs. Junior is a spin-off of the original series. The OCC and PGD were also featured in the program, which ran through December 2012. Following that, a few other show spin-offs were created, with the most recent one concluding in 2020. Paul Tootle Jr.'s career on the small screen may have come to an end for the time being, but he appears to be happy in his personal life. Paul Tootle Jr. stated in an interview with People.com that working with his father was the downfall of our relationship, and I'm not willing to give that up again. Despite their disagreements, he and his father were able to make up and mend their relationship, and they are now on friendly terms. They have separate businesses, although they did work together socially. Tootle Jr. has a few other things in his life besides his successful business to be glad about. Moving further to his personal life, he really won at it. In 2010, Tootle married Rachel Beaster, and his son Hudson Seven Tootle was born in 2015. When Rachel, a model and actress, appeared on one of the episodes of American Chopper, Tootle Jr. got to know her. Rachel manages trendy clothes and accessory gift shops in the same region as Jr., who is constantly designing and producing motorcycles at his shop. Let us make you aware of his hidden talent, which is... Our beloved Tootle also has a passion for writing. A book by Paul Tootle Jr. is called The Build, Designing My Life of Choppers, Family, and Faith. He discusses his life's journey, his relationships with his father, his time working at the Orange County Choppers, and how he came to know God in this book. In addition to PGD, he has progressed professionally and launched numerous additional enterprises. Paul Tootle Jr. has a $2 million net worth, which he accumulated from his glitzy TV show days and his present endeavor, according to Celebrity Net Worth. In 2009, Tootle established his own design company, Paul Jr. Designs, and created a dog park in Montgomery, New York. A facelift for Coleman's 10th anniversary, Road Trip Grill, was his debut product design in 2010. Tootle presented a line of dog toys to bamboo pets on the American Chopper episode Stuart Haas Bike from February 4, 2010. After becoming familiar with him, you must be wondering what he is doing now in his life. So let us tell you that Tootle Jr. has several works lined up as he produces podcasts in which he discusses a range of significant subjects, including preventing veteran suicides. He is passionate about producing informational, motivating, and empowering content for her audience. To offer their expertise and thoughts, he invites well-known professionals, business people, religious leaders, hobbyists, and representatives from many humanitarian organizations. He invites business executives and entrepreneurs to appear on her podcast to talk about leadership, marketing tactics, personal growth, and market trends. For budding entrepreneurs, small business owners, and professionals looking to advance their careers, these discussions offer invaluable advice and direction. Tootle encourages religious leaders from all faiths to share their knowledge, beliefs, and perspectives because they recognize the importance of spirituality and how it affects personal development. These programs allow viewers to investigate and learn about diverse religious practices, promoting better tolerance and understanding. Additionally, by bringing representatives from respected organizations onto his podcast, he actively supports humanitarian causes. These episodes provide information on how people can get engaged, give money, or volunteer while shedding light on various social issues. Jane motivates her listeners to make a difference in their communities by promoting awareness and aiding charity causes. So this was the story of an incredible man, Paul Tootle, who rose from failure and reached a luxurious state in his life. What are your views on him? 
to let us know in the comments below.